Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Do you have lines in your sublimation print? So when you print from your sublimation printer, do you have either horizontal or vertical lines in the print? This video is for you. So I'm specifically going to talk about the Epson Eco Tank because I feel like the lines are the most common with that printer. This will apply to other printers as well and at the end I will talk about how what I've discussed applies to those printers. So we're going to talk about a few different things. So we are going to talk about the horizontal lines primarily. The most common cause for those are your print settings. So we are going to go in detail in print settings and how they affect the lines. Then we're going to talk about print head alignment, which could also be another cause. Then we're going to talk about clogs. And finally, we're going to talk about vertical lines in your print and what those might be caused by. And then at the very end, I'll tell you how to apply this to other printers. So if you have a Sawgrass or an Epson F170, you want to stay tuned to the end. So first of all, printer settings. So I find that that's the most common cause of those horizontal lines in your sublimation print. Quite frankly, you just don't have the printer settings correct. So we are going to go through the printer settings in an Epson EcoTank printer, first of all, because those are the toughest, in my opinion, to get correct. The Epson F170 and the Sawgrass are pretty intuitive as far as pick and settings because there's not a lot of room for error. But with the Epson EcoTank, there's quite a bit of room for error and therefore many people get it wrong. So let's take a look at those print settings and how they might affect your final print so you know what to do when you see those results from the print that you're getting from your printer. The printer settings we'll be discussing in this video are in your printer settings dialog box. You should be able to change your paper setting, be able to change the quality of your print from best to standard, those type of things should be in that drop down. And then you should be able to change the speed. This can be called high speed or bi-directional depending on the printer you have. Now if you do not see these print settings in your printer dialog box, that means you have not downloaded the correct driver for your Epson Eco Tank. Go directly to the Epson website, find the right driver for your printer, and install that on your computer. When you open up your printer, it will be set to plain paper, standard quality, and the high speed will be on. If you were to just hit print at that point, you would get lines in your print. So you can probably see several lines through here. So these lines, or they're sometimes referred to as banding, can be a result of your print settings. So this is the standard print setting that will probably come standard on your Epson Eco Tank. If you were just to hit print and not change anything, this is what you would get. So let's walk through a few changes you can make. The first one only changes the high speed. So this one is plain paper, standard quality, high speed on. This one is plain paper, standard quality, high speed or bi-directional is off. The lines get a little better, but I can still see lines horizontally throughout my print or bands of color. And these will show up if you were to press this. So this is just the printed version. If you were to press this onto cloth, those lines would show up. So with both of these, we are getting the lines or the banding. So how do we fix that? Next up is still plain paper, the plain paper setting. I changed it to high quality this time and again turned the high speed off. And I cannot see any lines in this print. It looks really, really good. However, you might want to play with your paper setting as well. So this is the plain paper setting. A lot of people do not like this setting when they press their final product. And it probably depends what you're pressing to. So plain paper setting is gonna lay down the least amount of ink of all the paper settings. Then it's gonna be matte, then it's gonna be glossy paper setting. So the matte will lay down a little bit more ink. Now you can get too much ink on your print. If you're having trouble with blowout around your print, lines around your print, like red around your black, something like that, you might have laid too much ink down onto your paper. So let's look at a few paper settings and how they might differ a little bit. So this next one is what I use generally. This is a matte paper setting and I usually use premium presentation matte but I don't see a ton of difference. Just pick one that says matte. High quality, high speed off. So this is what I use 
generally for my projects. These settings work really, really great, especially for fabric projects. Now let's say that you wanted to lay down a little less ink for a rigid surface project. What would you do? What I would recommend is to go to standard quality. So this one is matte paper setting, standard quality, high speed off. So the only difference between these two is that this one is high quality, this one is standard quality. They're both a matte paper setting, the high speed is off on both of them. There are no lines on either print, but the high quality version is gonna have more ink that's in the paper, whereas the standard quality version is gonna have a little less ink. So you may find that you need one paper setting for say fabric surfaces and one for say rigid. And finally, you might be wondering what that glossy paper setting does. Here's the glossy paper setting. Now it does lay down more ink. And while I can't really tell between these just on the paper, I could probably tell once they were pressed perhaps, but this is glossy paper setting. Any glossy paper setting would probably give you about the same results. High quality, high speed off. Again, with any of these, you won't have the lines or the banding. So if you're having the lines or the banding, I would probably go to a matte paper setting, which both of these are, and either high quality or standard quality, depending on how much ink you wanna lay down on your paper, and definitely turn that high speed or bi-directional off. And I think you'll find that those horizontal lines or bands of your print will completely disappear. So let's say you've went through the print settings, they're all correct. You still have horizontal lines or banding across your print. What could be the cause? The next thing I would do is check your print head alignment. That is very easy to do. It's right in the maintenance section of your printer. So go ahead and pick a maintenance. And then you have the choice of either a vertical alignment once you click print head alignment or horizontal. I do recommend doing both. So you do the vertical alignment, it'll print a sheet, and then it'll be a series of boxes. And it basically asks you which box has the fewest amount of lines. And you input the numbers right on the screen of your printer. It's a very, very easy process to do. And after you do that vertical alignment, I would recommend going ahead and following up and doing the horizontal alignment. In this case, you pick the box that corresponds to the option that does not overlap or have a separation. So you want that perfect print head alignment. And then once you print these two, pick those numbers on the screen, your print heads are aligned. So then I would go ahead and try to print your print again, making sure your settings are correct and see if those horizontal bands went away. If they did not, now might be the time to print a nozzle check page and check for a clog. So I do have another video, full video, on how to check for clogs and fix those on an Epson EcoTank. So I will link to that in the description below this video. So go ahead and print that nozzle check page and check for any clogs in your printer and fix those at this time. Those can also cause horizontal banding, but because we don't want to jump all the way to the conclusion that the nozzles are clogged just as soon as you have those lines in your print, be sure to first check your print settings, Second, do a print head alignment. It's very easy to do, uses very little ink as you saw. And then go ahead and print that nozzle check page and see if you have a clog. Most likely if it is not your settings or it is not your print head alignment, then it probably is a clog. Might be a small clog and causing some horizontal banding on your print. Then go ahead and run through that video and fix the clog that's in your printer. So now what if it isn't horizontal lines, but more of a vertical line on your print? So vertical lines are called roller marks. I most commonly get them if I try to print easy subly on my Epson Eco tank. Quite frankly, I just can't do it. So <laughs> with vertical lines, what it is is that the ink is still wet and the Epson Eco tank, the Epson F170 as well, but not quite as bad, definitely the Eco tanks have small rollers on the inside that roll through the ink basically as it prints. If that ink is still wet, when those rollers touch the print, they pick up some of that ink and then they leave that ink on your print as the paper moves on through your printer. So that means the ink is wet for some reason. So take a look at what you're printing on. Do you have sublimation paper? Is that sublimation paper rated for an Epson EcoTank printer? Do you have another brand you could try and see if it does the vertical marks as well? So kind of try that. 
You can also, we talked about paper settings earlier in this video, you can try a different paper setting that lays down less ink. There's also on most Epson EcoTank printers, there's an envelope setting. That envelope setting pulls those rollers back a little bit. So you might try that setting if you're just not having any luck with any other setting and the print you're trying to do. So paper setting can play a huge factor into those vertical roller marks. So what you're printing on, how much ink you're laying down, and quite frankly, sometimes you just can't get rid of them. So I just am unable to print Caesar Easy Subly on my Epson EcoTank printer. I have to use the alternate method where I press it afterwards. It's just something that does not work for me. If that's the case for you, if it's a surface and you're just having trouble printing on it, try printing on regular sublimation paper. If you don't have those roller marks, more than likely, then that is the cause. Now, it could also be your design. Let's talk about that finally. If you have a design that has a lot of ink in one spot, big chunky letters that are really close together, there might be a lot of ink in that one spot, enough that it stays wet. Again, go back to those paper settings try a different paper setting for that design and it may just be that design that needs a different paper setting and you may be able to go back to those settings that you really like for your next project or design. And finally, how does this relate? We showed the Epson EcoTank, we talked about the Epson EcoTank settings, how does this relate to other printers? So the Epson F170 and the Sawgrass both have print settings that are fairly intuitive. You pick what you're putting the print on. So in the case of the F170, that's either a rigid paper setting or a textile paper setting. So what do those two do? Those two lay down different amounts of ink. So just we talked about the hacks with the paper settings for the Epson EcoTank, that Epson F170 is gonna do that for you. The Sawgrass Print Manager is the same way. You send your print to the printer and you pick what you're putting it on. Polyester, metal, there's tons of different settings and it lays down different amounts of ink for each of those onto the paper. So when I get lines with my F170 or my Sawgrass, you might check the printhead alignment, but probably like in the Sawgrass Print Manager, you can print a printer purge file right within the Print Manager. I usually print one of those to try to like force the ink through and any small clogs that might be in there. And that usually does it 100% of the time if I see some lines in my Sawgrass. If you see some lines, it's probably the third option in those cases because there's not a ton you can do with the print settings. You can double check, make sure you had everything correct when you printed. You can go ahead and look for print head alignment options on the printer just to be sure that those heads are aligned. Then you would go to that nozzle check, printing some printer purge files, that type of thing, to check for just a small clock. More than likely on those dedicated sublimation printers, that's gonna be what it is. However, I did wanna go through for the Epson EcoTank, especially I see a ton of people choosing the wrong paper settings and having the banding or lines in their print issue. So I wanted to go through that in depth in this video, but the same thing kind of applies for any sublimation printer. Walk through those steps. Do you have the right paper settings? Are your print heads aligned? Then do a nozzle check. Do you have a clog? That should walk you through the steps to figuring out bands or horizontal lines in your print. So now, if you have any questions about lines in your print, please drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you liked this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.